Number 43. Rank the compounds in each of the following groups in order of increasing acidity or basicity as indicated and explain the order you assign. And then we have letter F out of the bunch. So in this case, we have to rank according to increasing basicity. And then they give us four uh, anions here. BRO minus, BRO2 minus, BRO3 minus, and BRO4 minus. So let's first start the rank. So they want us to go from increasing basicity. So that means that I'm going to go from least basic. So we have least basic on the left, and then we have most basic on the right. Okay. Now, in terms of these anions, I see that I have a halogen, bromine, for all of them. And the only difference that I see here is the oxygens, right? I have one oxygen, two oxygens, three oxygens, four oxygens. So those oxygens must be why, you know, something is more or less basic, right? But remember, if we can't think of a basic trend, you could always flip it on its head. If you are least basic, that's an easy, you know, that's another way of saying you're most acidic. So least basic always means most acidic. And then vice versa, most basic means least acidic. So we could think of this in terms of an acidic trend. And we'll still get the same answer. Now, these look like they're all um, conjugate bases because they don't have any hydrogens, but they did come from an acid, right? BRO minus came from HBRO. BRO2 minus came from HBRO2. This one came from HBRO3. And then HBRO4. And it looks like we have all hydrogens in the front. We have the oxygens in the back, and then we have some random element in the middle, right? And if I just like bring this closer, there we go. Remember, this type, these are called oxo acids, right? Oxo because they all have oxygen in them and hydrogen for acid, right? Now, just note that if you have the same element, and for this case, we do, we just have bromines, right? I can't really use the periodic table to make a relationship, but... For oxo acids, the, the higher the number of oxygens, so the more oxygens you have, the more acidic your molecule is. So, in terms of acidity, this one has four bromines. Doesn't matter whether I look at HBRO or BRO4 minus, right? This one has four oxygens. And the higher number of oxygens means that you're more acidic. So BRO4 minus would be the most acidic, AKA the least basic. So I'm gonna start off with that one, BRO4 minus. So that one's good. And then the least number of oxygens would be the least acidic, AKA the most basic. So that's this guy. And you might be seeing a trend from four all the way down to one oxygen. So the next one has to be BrO3 minus, and then we got BrO2 minus. And let's just make this a little bit nicer. Try to bring it into a straight line. There we go. Now we just have to put our greater than or less than sign, but remember we're going from least to most. So BrO4 minus would be less basic than BrO3 minus, which would be less basic than BrO2 minus, which is less basic than BrO minus. And now we just have to explain why we chose this. Well, aside from the fact that the more oxygens, the more acidic, right? And that just translates to the least basic. That's because your central atom, when you have the higher number of oxygens, your central atom, in this case, which is the bromine, your central atom will have the highest or the, you know, the, the highest number, the highest formal charge. And a number for formal charge is the same, the same name as oxidation state, right? Those oxidation states, the charges. So the more higher, that's even the correct English, but the higher the formal charge, the better it is at becoming an acid. So low formal charge, because you only got one oxygen, high formal charge for the bromine, because it has four oxygens. 
You could always figure out the, the formal charge if you want by doing the formula. We learned that in a couple of uh, chapters ago. But you'll see that this bromine has the highest number, and this one should have the lowest. All right? And with that, we're going to box this off because this is the answer. And the reasoning is over here, and we're good. Hopefully this helped. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Uh, if you want to help us out, please press the subscribe button, and I will see you all in later lessons. Okay? Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.